Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm creating a new installation for Office 365 and Visio 2016 package in Configuration Manager. So now let's get started. I'm going to download Microsoft Office Deployment Toolkit. Just type in Microsoft Office, uh, Microsoft ODT, and the click on the very top link just click on download So the file has been downloaded. So what I need to do is I'm going to double click on it. Click on continue. I'm going to put it on C drive. Make a folder called Office 365. Highlight the folder and click OK. That should extract the all the files that need to create a package. So what you need to do now, you need to download the package. You need to download the contents. So let's go back to let's go to the command prompt. You want to type in change directory to C. Let's type in uh, change directory again to Office 365 and then type in DIR. So to download the contents, you need to type in setup.exe forward slash download and then the name of the config file, which is I'm going to download the x6, x86. Make sure you put in the whole thing with the XML extension. As you can see, it's creating the folder. So this will take about five to 10 minutes. I already downloaded the contents and I have placed it here. I put it on the network share. Oops. So it's on the network share. The config file I'm using is the x86. I'm going to open it up, open with Notepad. This is the contents of the XML file. It's going to install Office Pro Plus and Visio Pro Plus. So it's going to install both versions, uh, both um, products. And the updates, it's going to be true. It's going to automatically update. Um, the monthly channel. I should say no, because I'm going to do the update from SCCM. And basic level, it's I'm going to put in none, because I'm going to deploy through SCCM. And auto activate, it's going to be one. You want it to automatically activate. So the update is no, display level is none, and auto auto activate is one. I'm going to click on save, close it out. Also, I created the uninstall pack uh, XML files. If you right click on it, go to open with Notepad. I don't really need this part, so this is all I needed. So it's going to remove the Office Pro Plus. And the display is none. You want to make sure it's a none. And the force application to shut down is true. So if the user has application open, you want it. In order to remove it, you need to close the applications. 
So now let's create an SCCM package. I'm going to copy this path here. I'm going to go to my Configuration Manager console. Go to Application Manager, Applications. I'm going to call this, go to Create Applications. It's going to be Manual Specify Applications. Call it Office. 365 with with Visio professional Let's call it Visio Professional 2016. I'm going to click. I don't need all these information here. You can tip, put it in like Publish uh, Microsoft. I'm going to click Next. That's fine. The Keywords Office of Visio. Click next. I'm going to create a deployment type. Click on add. It's going to be a script installer. Click next. I'll just type in install office 365. language I don't have to choose the language you can if you want I'm going to click next content location this is where you want to put your location of your um, installation files installation programs this is the command line so it's going to be a setup.exe forward slash config configured and then the name of your XML file which is this one. Oops, wrong one. I'm going to close this folder. Let's go back to the network locations. So the name of the XML file. And the uninstall. It's going to be setup.exe. very very similar configured and then the name of the XML file oops wrong one remove underscore office XML I'm gonna paste that here so this is the command line to install and this is the command line to remove. I'm going to click next. The detection method. You have to install it first to see where the files are, all the registries. So I got it installed on my test box. And here is the location of the registry information where Office reside. So I'm going to copy this information. You want to copy H key always to the end. And paste it here. Oops, wrong one. Paste it here. And the value The value should be the display name. I'm 
it's going to be a string and make sure it's equals to equals to this one so it's going to look at the registry key for the display name and equals to this if this key exists on the machine that means this office application is already installed I'm going to click OK click next I'm going to install for systems whether or not user is logged on I'm going to change this to it's going to take about 30 minutes or less just leave it like that 30 minutes installation program normal or you can hidden or maximize and click next requirement there's nothing to um, for to be installed first so I don't need to put in requirements dependency there's no dependency click next next again and close I'm going to click next and next So again, to, to remove Office, all you have to do is just create this XML file and with the remove and the products of the product ID, which is Office 365 Pro Plus Retails, this is all you need to create a removal XML file. So that's it. That's how. Um, you create Office Pro, Office 365 Pro Plus with Visio. I'm going to distribute the contents. Choose the DP. Click OK. Next. And next again. That's it, folks. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And have a wonderful day.